Wilbur? It for you. Sickening. Then there's the difference in the food, you know, and the water, and the altitude. Maybe you should reconsider. Besides, Carol started to cry. When I see tears, I just can't say no. <laughs> Dad, don't. <laughs> Come on, Ed. It, it's only for three days. <laughs> Ensenada. Oh? I thought you didn't talk in front of anybody but me. How come you talk to the kid? Who believes kids, anyway? Happy birthday, Ed. Thanks, amigo. <laughs> now, make a wish and blow out the candle. <laughs> well, since you promised, you can't have him. Well, as long as they bring him back, you can't have him. Well, if that's the case, you're in trouble. I still don't understand why your husband raised such a fuss over that old nag. <laughs> what was that? Must be a bad connection. <laughs> Gentlemen, there is a horse in the steam room. How are you, boy? Medium rare. Hello, Ed. It's me. Graham, Grandma. Here. You don't need to be the mascot. You know, it's a fourth load of hay we've had delivered this week. Well, I'm hungry. How come other horses don't eat as much as you do? Because they can't phone the feed store. <laughs> a talking bird. What'll they think of next? If you're so smart. Say, Peter Piper, pick a peck of pickled peppers. Peter, 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 pick them up. It's a hold up. I knew it. You're stupid. How do you know so much about horses? Isn't that a stupid question? Let's all begin together. Ready, go. One, two. That's it slowly. And up and down and around. That's it. Then to the left. Now you go with me. Ready? Begin. One, two, one, two. Swing it, right. Jack. My horse is chicken. That's right. <laughs> You're getting sleepy. 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 Your eyes are getting heavy. You are asleep. Rock a bye, baby. Now cut that out. About your acrophobia, Mr. Post, uh, when did the first syndrome manifest itself? Make him talk English. Oh, just a few feet. Uh, how much is a few? Well, why don't you take a look for yourself? No! No, not here. That's telling him, Bernice. <laughs> Don't kiss that slob, Bert. Beat it. Make me fat, so. <laughs> Ed, you haven't changed your mind. <laughs> well, why aren't you talking to me? <laughs> You've got to talk. Oh. Now, I'm just going to put it in two, see? Up into the mouth, and I'm going to blow on three. Okay, ready? Open, open wide, open wide. That's it. Open up. Uh, ready? Now, one, two. Uh, move my pawn down. Here? Yeah. <laughs> Checkmate. <laughs> Darn it. That's the fourth game in a row you've beaten me. Five. But who's counting? You're in trouble. What did I do wrong? You started the game. Uh, will you move my second pawn down, too, please? Move it yourself. Please. Those small ones get stuck in my teeth. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Ah. 
they'll show you we're real pals, I'll help you. Move your king's rook down two squares. Mm -hmm. Mine up one. Now yours, down one. Mine up one. Bring your bishop down one square. <laughs> and now uh, my bishop in front. <laughs> Checkmate. You lose again. She's my wife. Well, so what? I'm your horse. Okay, now read the chart. What chart? <laughs> the one on the wall. What, what wall? I know. Look, stop the faking it. Uh, read the big one at the top. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> it's an O. You're right. It's an O. It is not. It's an E. Ah, uh -huh. your eyes are perfect. My eyes are bad. But I know the Fairbanks Optical Company always puts an E on the top of their charts. How do you know the Fairbanks Company made this chart? Well, that's what it says right there on the bottom. Manufactured by the Fairbanks Optical Company. Oh, Wilfer, how thoughtful a singing telegram. She's a jolly good fellow, <laughs> which nobody can deny. I'm so hungry, I can eat a horse. <laughs> Let's see, let's see that. Classic concept of the criminal type is the close set shifty eyes. Yeah, that's me. That's him. The one in the middle. He robbed the bank. Working is for horses, not me. You're about 50 pounds overweight. Well, that's just baby fat. <laughs> Wilbur, will you get me a candy bar? No. Poor Ed. Uh, you're getting quite a workout in the park today. Oh. <laughs> another day, another bale of hay. No, the dad is not known as a jumper. He's not even known as a walker. <laughs> Wilbur, what madness possessed you entering old Fatso in the steeplechase? <laughs> this thing gets heavy, you know. One, two, three, four. Ouch! I smell something cooking, and I think it's me. Oh, much longer, Wilbur. I'm gracefully over the obstacle, clearing it neatly as you... Uh-uh. Oh, oh. Oh, my aching back. One thing, Wilbur. Yeah? When we take that first jump, keep your eyes open, because mine are going to be closed. <laughs> oh, Ed. <laughs> now, don't get sloppy. Hold tight, now. One of us may never come back. <laughs> Wilbur, say giddy app. Giddy app. <laughs> we did it! We did it! Ed. Uh, get off, Wilbur. I think I'm going to faint. Will you see if there's a lump on my back? No, no lump here. Funny, since you got off, it disappeared. Easy, boy. What are you, some kind of a nut or something? There's a kid on your back. Are you trying to kill her? Come on, chicken. Come on. Two, three. There we go. One, two, three. Roger, what are you doing with those apples? Oh, these? They're for this wonderful horse of yours. I'm very fond of this animal, and I think he kind of likes me, too. Here you are, boy. Ed. When I was a little boy, I was afraid of riding bicycles. The little boy next door had a red bicycle. So one son... Now, watch carefully. You see, the whole... Yes, it's water. The whole principle is that the boat displaces its own weight in the water... <laughs> This little boy who lived next door had a red bicycle, you see. So one Sunday morning, when nobody was looking, I went over there. They didn't know that I was afraid to ride bicycles. And... 
No, Wilbur. I don't want to go on the boat. I'm too young to die. How much water is under that boat, Wilbur? Oh, about 12 feet. And how tall am I? Six feet. Help! Horse overboard! And you get on the boat first. All right, I will. See how safe it is? Okay, now walk around the other side. All right. <laughs> Ed! Ed, we're drifting! Do something! I am! I'm going home! <laughs> They're coming to see a hero, not a phony pony. <laughs> Stay away from me, you clown. I was only kidding. <laughs> Can't you take a joke? <laughs> oh, that does it. Let's go outside and settle this like gentlemen. <laughs> Get off my toes! Wilbur! Help! Wild elephant stampede! Hey, what happened to your foot? Twinkle Toes just stepped on it. I'd like to sue him for every peanut he's got. Do I get my blanket back or do I call the cops? This will teach you a horse never forgets. Feeling better, Ed? <laughs> Open up. <laughs> oh, this feels good. I uh, think I'll have breakfast in bed tomorrow. This bed has got to go. Come Please, on. Wilbur. I'm not wearing pajamas. Ed, what's going on here? Just call me Ed the Beachcomber. What started all this? Those kids that were here yesterday? Yep, we're birds of a feather. Rejected, neglected, befuddled, bemuddled. Thanks, pal. Hey, where did he come from? I don't know, but he sure looks like way out. <laughs> Ed, what are you doing out here? Let's go. <laughs> Glad you got over that rejection business. Yeah, I'd look pretty silly lying on a psychiatrist's couch. Ed? You want to hear a little poem I just made up? Okay. <clears throat> uh, life is a feed bag overflowing with oats, a bag that should never be shut. And a horse that would leave a sweet guy like you must be some kind of a nut. <laughs> it was a cat. A cat. A cat. Are you sure it wasn't a horse? I'm sure. As soon as he said meow, he gave himself away. Wilbur, would you forgive me if I admitted I spilled the ink? I would not. Then it was the cat. <laughs> Oh, boy. <sighs> you got your own breakfast, huh? Yeah. It's great to have my kitchen privileges back again. <laughs> it's great to have a happy family again, Ed. Where? Well, back to solitary. <laughs> Send all my mail to the Birmingham jail. <laughs>
Hi, you Hi. Wilbur. It's for a civic cause. Wilbur, I'm just as patriotic as the next horse, but my stable is my castle. We are going to use this as a polling place, so open those doors and stop sulking. Who's sulking? You are. I am not. <laughs> I want to vote. Don't be silly. How do you want to vote, Ed? Yes or no? I just remembered something. What? I'm not old enough to vote. 